So imagine this, you're in the middle of Taiwan and it's hot and it's stinky. And maybe you're not sure if you want to cool down or you just want to dry yourself down with a beautiful gold mic. So you eventually find your way to a massive place like this that is air conditioned. But is that climate to your liking? Well, if it isn't, perhaps the Ambi Climate 2.0 can help you out. Just over a year ago at Computex 2017, there was a Kickstarter campaign and it was from a company called Ambi Labs with their Ambi Climate Air Conditioning Smart Control. Fast forward a year, however, they've since won the DNI award from last year's show and they now have a revision 2.0 of the Ambi Climate from last year. We're gonna go to the showroom floor and take an interview with the CEO, Julian Lee. Welcome back to Tech Yes City and I'm joined by Julian. He's going to tell us what makes Ambi Climate different to standard air conditioning control as well as other smart AI features out there because a the big thing with Ambi Climate is the smart control. So what makes this so much different? Thanks, Brian. So Ambi Climate is the world's first AI powered controller for air conditioners. Uh, the key difference for our system is this. With air conditioners today, you can only really set a temperature, but there are many other factors that affect your comfort. So things like humidity and sunlight coming in the room, changing weather outside, things like that. So with our system, instead of setting just a temperature, the user can just tell us how do they feel right now? Do they feel hot, cold, or comfortable? And then our uh, a machine learning system will automatically build a personal profile of their comfort. So something like this. So this, what we found is that actually for most of our users, temperature is not number one. It generally is something like humidity or weather. So based on this understanding, we automatically adjust the air conditioner and our users find it's more comfortable and they save energy as well. So I already tried this out at the studio and I'm loving it so far. You've got that full integration with your smartphone. You can control it anywhere you wish and it's so easy to sync up as well. It's a pretty easy learning curve and after that, you get full control of your AC like I've never seen before. This is really taking it a step further to make your environment just really comfortable. And the best thing about this is it automatically learns your behavior as well, and then it'll apply that over time, right? Yep, so I think you know the key factor is that you know it will learn how these factors affect you, and it's not just a static profile. Actually, we found that your preferences change as the seasons change as well, so it will constantly learn and update, and it will just get better over time. So now also I've noticed at the booth here, you've got the Amazon Alexa and also the Google Home devices. Is that because the Ambi Climate syncs up with this, or can you tell us a little bit more about the extra features on this unit? Uh, so yeah, we ha we're currently building a lot of uh, new convenience features. Uh, so for example, we recently developed this feature, which is uh, geolocation. So you know, the air conditioner can automatically turn on as you come home and turn off as you leave. And yeah, we also have, uh, uh, we finished the Amazon Alexa integration and Google Home is pretty much done or should be out in the next month or so. So how does that specifically work though, the integration? What goes into that? Right, so with a uh, voice integration, then you don't have to fire up your app anymore. You can just voice command and say, you know, Alexa, tell Ambi Climate I'm feeling a bit warm, or, you know, OK, Google, I'm feeling cold, uh, something like that. What we're trying to do is to make things more convenient for the user, and that's the whole uh, philosophy of our automatic AI control. And by training the AI, we also eliminate sort of overcooling and overheating problems, so you save energy as well. Yes, I noticed that advertising with efficiency. So how exactly will that save you uh, I guess electricity over time. So I think one thing we found is that a lot of people tend to overcool or overheat their homes, you know, without meaning to. So an example of this is like, you know, in the summer, if you set your air conditioner to a comfortable temperature to go to sleep, next morning everyone tends to wake up too cold. That's because your metabolism is slowed down overnight. So by having this, you know, fine-tuned uh, constant adjustment and automatic adjustment, we eliminate these overcooling and overheating situations. And our users say that you can save as much as 20 to 30 percent off their electricity bill. So essentially, in a really hot day, the unit will be on a little bit colder than usual, but as you're sleeping and your body cools down, the unit will then get a little bit warmer, essentially saving your electricity, but also making you feel more comfortable. Is that correct? Yep, that's precisely it. So now the last thing I've noticed with the Ambi Climate device as well is essentially after you program it with your AC remote, you no longer really need that remote. That's right. A lot of our users actually tell us that they've stopped using their remotes and you know they're pretty much the batteries run down and that sort of thing. So essentially you can now have your AC remote in your smartphone, so it's great if maybe your previous remote has died but also you don't want to replace the batteries all the time. That's a really handy feature. But can you also tell us about pricing and availability of the Ambi Climate 2.0? 
Sure, so uh, Ambi Climate 2 is currently available in uh, many markets around the world. Uh, in the US, for example, we're on Amazon at uh, 129 US. Australia will be coming pretty soon. We're going to do a retail launch soon, and it will be retailing for 199 Australian. So that sounds really good. But essentially, if you uh, change your smartphone or you change your AC in the future, you can still use the Ambi Climate from the next device to the next device, correct? Because there was a, also I noticed it said as you travel as well, you can program the Ambi Climate, bring it with you, and change it to different environments. Uh, yeah, you can do that. I mean, of course, you know, uh, one of the things about the uh, learning system is that it, it's good to learn your environment. So it is good if you leave it at home in that sense. But uh, some of the travel friendly features we have is that we have rules to help you take care of your home as you're out of the house. So let's say a temperature. So, you know, if you don't want it to get too hot, let's say for your plants, but you don't want to leave the AC running all the time, then, you know, you can set a rule if it's, uh, for example, above 30 degrees in the home, then it will turn on. Just cool it down just that little bit as required. That's really awesome. Thanks for your time, Julian. It was great meeting you. If you guys have any questions or comments about the Ambi Climate, then be sure to drop a comment in the comments section below. And thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this one, then be sure to hit that like button. And also a quick message from Julian. Peace out for now. Bye. <laughs> And that about wraps up Computex 2018. Hope you guys have enjoyed all the coverage so far. And also with the Ambi Climate 2.0, it's really good. Before I even came here, I just set it up really quickly. There's over 1,200 models supported out of the box. And even my Australian air conditioning, which is unique, it's a Panasonic model. It wasn't even supported in the list, but it was manually set up and it was so quick to do that too. So even if your air conditioning remote is something new, it's something unique, it'll just program itself automatically with a touch of a button. And lastly, with the Ambi Climate 2.0, there's four different modes. Manual mode, if you don't want to change anything, but just want to use the smartphone as a remote, you can do that as well, get the digital readouts. There's the comfort mode, which is the smart AI mode, and it'll learn over time how you prefer your climate. And then there's temperature mode for this, the manual temperature in the room, set that and the humidity and you're good to go. Then the last mode is away mode, which you can set thresholds for either the temperature or when you leave your particular house where the air conditioning is at, it'll turn off and this is essentially saving you energy. Or if you go to a certain temperature, then it will turn on and again, saving you energy. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, then be sure to give it a big thumbs up and I'll catch you in another tech video, some enthusiast tech stuff very soon. Peace out for now. Bye.